I know that the one year anniversary of my mother's passing is coming up. And so before I share my notes towards grief and difference with you, I would like to invite each of you to take a souvenir from my year of grieving. Just one, please, and then pass the bag along. They are for keeps. And beware of dairy and potential allergens in the edible ones. <laughs> Notes towards, different, towards diffraction and grief. The chicken was taken by a fox, a raccoon, a hawk. A hawk will leave a characteristic pattern of feathers behind. In the distance, follow with wings through discussing grief and writing on grief, particularly my poetry about chickens and the death of my mother from cancer. Diffraction differs from reflection and refraction, because it grounds difference through interaction as opposed to sameness. What more beautiful philosophy of physics could there be to describe the reality of loss? I want to attend to the patterning here, where the henwife differs from the midwife who differs from the witch. Who is this mysterious henwife? She is the woman who cares for other women even across species. She might be something of a cyborg or a hybrid. The relationship between her and her hens and her human friends is worthy of a deeper exploration. She feeds her pair of raccoons dinner to save them stalking the chickens. The midwife is the daughter of the fairy wife who is guiding her students through the sound and she asks, what is the difference between a bird of prey and a witch? The witch throws a stronger acid into her cauldron than any bird will shit. Beware the senior laboratory lecturer. She's compiling an index of compounds with data indicating they either cross or do not cross the blood-brain barrier. Please see the platinum inside her head. The pattern of diffraction is the result of boundaries. See the jetty in the harbor. Donna Haraway emphasizes instability. It is the instability of boundaries defining objects that is the focal point of her explicit challenge, not only to conceptions of nature that claim to be outside of culture, but also to the separation of epistemology from ontology. Because boundaries are unstable, life itself is unstable. Enter the twin hens, grief and relief are really two different breeds. Two similar hens inhabit. Think Goldie Hawn and Bette Midler in the first wives club. The golden hen hangs around Rhode Island Red all day long. I Love Lucy is watching the Jubilee Orpington through the window. And Luna balances on the tire swing waiting for the moon. The hen egg was once upon a time when the hen wave explained how the egg becomes the chicken. Is the chicken or the shark already folded inside the egg you hold? Thank you.